Hello, my name is Samantha Mall from UT Extension McMinn County, and today I will be reading How Did That Get in My Lunchbox? The Story of Food by Chris Butterworth. One of the best parts of the day is when you lift the lid of your lunchbox to see what's inside. Your parents have packed it with lots of tasty things to eat. They probably got all the food from a grocery store, but food doesn't grow in stores. So where did it come from before it was in the store? Just how did all this food get in your lunchbox? How did the bread in your sandwich get in your lunchbox? A farmer planted seeds in spring and by summer they'd grown into tall waving wheat with fat ripe grains, grains at the tip of every stalk. The farmer cut the wheat with a giant combine harvester and sent it to a flour mill. Grains. The miller ground the grains into flour and trucks took the flour to a bakery. The baker mixed the flour with water, sugar, and yeast, kneaded it into a soft, squishy dough, and baked it in a very hot oven. Out came fresh loaves of bread ready to send to the store. Take a bite of the bread in your sandwich. Mmm, crusty on the outside and soft in the middle. How did the cheese in your sandwich get in your lunchbox? Your cheese was once milk that came from a cow. A farmer milked the cows and a tanker from the dairy came to collect the milk. Step one, in the dairy, cheese makers warmed up the milk. Two, and added bacteria to make it turn sour and thick. Three, then they added a substance that animals use to digest milk called rennet. Four, and it changed again into bits called curds floating in whey. Five, they drained off the whey chopped up the rubbery curds, added some salt, and pressed them into blocks. Six, they stored the blocks for months until the cheese was ripe. Bite into your cheese. It's creamy and smooth, but tasty too, and tingly on your tongue. <clears throat> How did your tomatoes get in your lunchbox? Last summer, your tomatoes were growing in a big plastic tunnel full of tomato plants. The sun and the warmth made the plants grow tall and bloom with yellow flowers. As each flower died, a tiny green tomato fruit began to grow from its middle. Day by day, the plant sucked up water and the tomatoes swelled from green to orange to red. When bunches of ripe scarlet tomatoes dangled from the branches, the grower picked them. One sorted them, two packed them, three and sent them to the store. Pop one in your mouth and squish the sweet sour juice out. How did your apple juice get in your lunchbox? Last spring, the apple trees in the orchard were full of flowers. In summer, tiny apple buds grew from each flower stalk. The buds kept growing, and by autumn, the trees were full of ripe, sweet fruit. Pickers climbed into the trees and filled their bins with fruit. A truck took the bins to the juice factory, where sorters threw out any rotten apples. One, then a machine washed the rest. Two, and mashed them in a milling machine. Seeds, skin, and all. Three, a huge press squeezed the mash till all its juice ran out. Four, a heater warmed up the juice to kill off any germs. Five, and poured it into cartons. Suck hard on your straw to taste the apple tang. How did your carrots get in your lunch box? Last spring, your carrots were growing in a field on a vegetable farm. You wouldn't have seen any carrots then, just long rows of feathery leaves. As the leaves grew taller in the summer sun, each carrot root pushed deeper into the earth, soaking up water and turning orange. By late summer, they had swelled so much that the top of each carrot poked out of the earth. Then the carrots were washed and packed into trucks. Bite into your carrot, see just how sweet and crunchy it tastes. How did the chocolate chip in your cookie get into your lunchbox? Cookies are made from flour, sugar, and butter, and this one's got chocolate chips in it. Chocolate starts off as a bean, well, lots of beans, which grow in pods on a cocoa tree. The pods are picked from the tree, then they're cut open and the beans are scooped out. These beans are spread out and left to dry in the sun. The dried beans are taken to a factory, sometimes on the other side of the world. In the factory, they're cleaned, one roasted, two and ground into a thick, sticky paste. Three, sugar's mixed in, so the paste gets sweeter, but it's still greedy, gritty, so it's squeezed, stirred, melted, and cooled to make it really smooth. It takes a lot of work to make chocolate. 
four, finally, the chocolate is molded into blocks. These are made into little chips that will melt in your mouth all over again. How did your clementine get in your lunchbox? Early in summer, the trees in the clementine grove were full of sweet smelling waxy flowers. As the flowers died, a tiny green clementine berry began to grow out of each one. The clementine swelled in the warm sun, turning from green to yellow. By the time cooler winter weather arrived, the clementines had turned orange and were so heavy and full of juice that they made the branches droop. Pickers climbed ladders to reach them. They had to wear gloves so they didn't bruise the tender fruit inside the skin. They washed them and packed them, and the growers sent the boxes to trucks to the market. It's easy to peel a clementine. Then all you have to do is pop the juicy pieces in your mouth and bite. Most clementines are seedless. You've eaten it all, from the first bite of bread to the last piece of fruit. It came from fields and farms, from orchards, from groves, and from dairies. So many pe people helped bring it to you. Farmers and bakers, cheese and chocolate makers, pickers, packers, and truck drivers, and now it's all in your stomach, starting to do the job that food does, helping you grow taller and stronger and giving you get up and go. You need more than lunch to make you grow and keep you healthy. Every day you need to choose food from each of the sections of this plate. Most of your food should come from the fruits and vegetables and carbohydrates section. Carbohydrates. These foods fill you up fast and give you the energy to keep you going. Fruits and vegetables. Your body needs lots of these to keep you healthy. Protein. These foods are just as important as carbohydrates, fruits, and vegetables, but your body doesn't need as much of them. Protein. These are bodybuilders to help you grow those extra inches. Dairy. These are the bone builders. They also help your teeth grow strong. Then there's this stuff you eat for a treat. Just a little of these is enough. Food facts. Your body is made of mostly of water, so you need at least six drinks a day to keep yourself topped up. Most of these drinks should be water, not soda, which has lots of sugar in it. Your body is growing all the time, even when you're asleep. So remember, don't skip breakfast. It gets your body through the day. Too much sitting around won't help your body won't keep your body healthy. It doesn't matter whether you chase a ball, your dog, or your friends, but spend about an hour a day on the move. It's good to eat five different kinds of fruits and vegetables every day. Why not try a new one this week? 